expanding their efforts to connect children of deployed service members to mentors who are often veterans themselves. Corporations are stepping up as well. Uh, Viacom, for example, is working with a national nonprofit called Mentor to provide flex time to employees who sign up to be mentors and to produce educational materials for mentoring organizations across the country. The government's doing its part too, launching the serve.gov slash mentor website to help people find mentoring opportunities and expanding mentoring efforts in Native American communities and in rural areas, working with the Federal Mentoring Council to ensure that our initiatives and investments are coordinated, effective, and focused on those most in need. But here's the thing, and I'm talking specifically to the young people who are here today. In the end, we can start all kinds of mentoring programs and give you guys all the mentors of the world, but it won't make much of a difference unless you do your parts as well. That's the thing about mentoring, it's a two-way street. So we need you engaged here, we need you open, uh, to open up, Michelle said, you've got to ask questions. You've got to ask for help when you need it. I do that every day. Michelle does that every day. It's not a sign of weakness uh, to look for help, to try to answer questions that you don't know uh, the answers to. It's a sign of strength when you do that. It shows that you have the courage to admit when you're unsure of yourself and the willingness to learn and grow and become a better person. 